922. Day one of the 2018 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley saw tons of giant fish come to the scales. It took at least a five pounder to place in each session and it's safe to say Kentucky Lake is on fire right now. But the conditions are changing drastically. It's come down a foot since yesterday. I was watching TVA and it dropped a foot last night. Falling water levels are beginning to impact the fishing. Can this field of 475 of the best collegiate anglers in the country figure them out? There he is. Stay tuned and find out as day two coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley begins now. Give it a boat, Woo! How about that one? Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Snowy! New Big Bass of the tournament. Welcome to coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. The nation's top collegiate anglers have descended upon Henry County in Paris, Tennessee to compete in the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley on Kentucky Lake. Day one's weights were nothing short of impressive. A seven plus pound fish won each of the four individual sessions with a 9.22 pound fish leading overall. Anglers are excited about how well the lake is fishing right now. We knew we were around some good fish and this man right here he put on a clinic with a big, I'm talking about big spinner bait. He's killing them on it. He's caught two over six a day. He's the one man you need to be talking to. It was, uh, it was definitely a grind, but every every bite we got was a big bite. The, with the water falling in these conditions, it was a, definitely a tough one. But we managed to get the big bite. On Kentucky Lake this weekend, anglers are looking to catch big fish. Taking home a grand prize package valued at $5,000 is not the sole focus, however. Also on the line are very important School of the Year points in the chase for the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. The winner of this event will earn his or her school 500 points. Every fish counts. And something as simple as a two pound keeper size fish can go a long way in gaining ground on the field and positioning one school in a good spot as the year winds down. It was really important to catch those two fish. It was the spur of a moment, and we just back-to-back -back cast, and right when we got them in the boat, we had to take off and get to the weigh-in. And school of the year is really important to us. We're sitting in fourth in points, and this tournament can mean everything with everything, all the circumstances going on. Here's an updated look at the standings entering this weekend's event. Bethel University, located just down the road here from Kentucky Lake, has a commanding lead over the field. Sitting in second, more than 400 points out of that first place spot is Northwestern State University. And following them in third is East Texas Baptist University. Though the lead for first is a wide margin, the remainder of the top 10 is separated by less than 200 points. This should set up for an exciting day too, as just one big fish can be the difference between being ranked outside the top 10 or climbing all the way up into the top three. As the anglers make their way to the ramp and out onto Kentucky Lake this morning, the main storyline is the weather. The cold's definitely going to be the, the biggest challenge. I'm from Florida originally, so I don't do well in cold weather. It's supposed to be pretty rainy. It shouldn't affect us too bad. We're trying to stay in the back of some pockets and get out of the wind, and it uh, should be okay for us. Winds are gusting out of the north at a steady rate, and temperatures are not expected to get out of the 40s. To go along with that, there's a strong chance for rain beginning about mid-morning. Regardless of the conditions, anglers will be looking to continue their success from day one. And one of the most impressive performances on day one came from the anglers representing Grand Valley State University. I personally won the second session, and aside from that, um, our boat was catching fish all day long off this spot and pretty much anywhere we went. But we have one spot in particular that had a lot of big fish on it, um, fours, fives, uh, and the one seven. So we're hoping we can go back there and uh, get some good bites. We went from having probably 20 or 30 rods rigged up yesterday to maybe two or three a piece. Uh, we're just gonna throw our marbles in that and see what we can get. Looking to carry that momentum over from day one of competition, we follow Lucas Murphy and his teammates from Grand Valley State University out to their starting spot. The three anglers are throwing a variety of moving baits in search of some feeding fish. Big one, big one. Wish this water wasn't so stained for that. Oh, it's dark. Mm -hmm. 
There he is. <laughs> These smallmouth are great. It's time now for a break, but as soon as we return, we go back out to the team from Grand Valley State as they're getting a lot of bites early today. And after that, we head to the Session 1 weigh-in presented by Abu Garcia to see how the anglers fared in the first two hours. We'll be right back. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Welcome back to coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Early on this morning, the team from Grand Valley State University is on a roll. As a boat, the trio has landed six fish, with several of them being quality keepers, including one five pounder. It appears they are on a solid pattern and show no signs of slowing down. Oh, got him. Hooked up? Yep. Uh, it's like impossible to tell with this rod because it's a flipping stick, but I'm going to come to the front. Yeah, it's a good one. I think it's like a three or four. Mm, yep, that's a good one. Oh. <laughs> that's going to be fun to get out of the net. Dude, that's a dog. <laughs> Yeah, that's the first big, that's the biggest one on the A-Rig all week. Yeah. yeah. Look at that gut, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Having some good fish in the box, the Grand Valley State anglers make the decision to weigh their fish in during the first session presented by Abu Garcia. Nolan Hitt brings his recent catch to the stage looking to secure a prize with a top 10 finish. 556, 556. Fellow teammate Lucas Murphy also brings a nice large mouth to the scales, looking to continue his solid showing on day one. 578, that's gonna put you in the money, a 578. With 5.78 pounds, he too is in a good position to finish the session in the top 10. Another angler who had great success on the first day of competition is Alden Keel from Blue Mountain College. Weighing in a 721 during day one session four, he's not quite able to beat that mark. Butts is in good position at 6.3 pounds. Hot, right, talk to me. Yeah, I was uh, sitting there telling Ty about how cold my hands was, and about that time they warmed up real quick. I hear you. Okay, did y'all go back to where you caught either one of the fish yesterday y'all caught? Uh, we stayed pretty close. We did catch one there yesterday. One of the big ones you weighed in? We did. The clock strikes nine, marking the end of session one. Now here are the results for the top ten. Connor DeMauro from Bryan College wins a tiebreaker to take sole possession of first place with 6.36 pounds. Falling on the wrong end of the tiebreaker and finishing second is Logan Brewster from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. And Alden Keel's 6.3 pound largemouth is good enough for third. There appears to be an emerging theme here as day two of tournament competition continues. Anglers who placed well on day one are carrying that momentum over into this morning. Well, we found these uh, these flooded points and uh, came over here. We got uh, we started throwing a spinner bait and ended up catching some good fish and got a good pattern on them. So we're going to try to keep that. It feels like a big one. Yeah, get the net. 
it's a good boy. Yeah, it's a good, and I see her. I don't know how good, but she, I mean, she's a decent fish. It ain't no big one, it's just a good fish. I got on this little bit rod. Is it like cracking rod? Yeah. Oh, it's just gonna be a lot better to keep it. <laughs> the falling water level is factoring into the fishing conditions today. Most of the week, the fish were pushed up into the flooded cover, but as the lake continues to drop, the fish are beginning to position differently. What that fish did right there, it was just the same thing as yesterday. We uh, way off this stuff, I hit a pile of bump, bump brush that flooded out here and off of it, and he just loaded up on it. I figured that's what's gonna happen all day. They're gonna stay a little bit farther off. But right there, that's a solid two and a half, two and three quarter. Pretty good way to start in the morning. Give you a little confidence. Another team that has confidence in their area is a group of anglers representing Adrian College. They too had a great deal of success on day one and are taking note of the changing conditions. Yesterday, we pulled up here in the morning and early in the morning we caught one good one. It was a uh, 583 or 585 right off of this spot and uh, it ended up coming in fourth. We waited in for the third session. And then uh, the rest of the day, we kind of ran over the other side of the lake. We caught a bunch of smallmouth. It was a lot of fun. We're going to go do it again today. A lot of three to four pound smallmouth and one more five pound largemouth that didn't help us. But we'll see how it goes today. It's a colder day. I think a lot more of these fish are going to pull out of these creeks and up on these points. And I think it could set up to get a nice good bite. Net. Yeah. <laughs> That's more of the kind that we're looking for. That is a solid keeper. And more fish of that size are continuing to show up back in Paris, where the session two weigh-in presented by Gill is quickly coming to a close. A familiar face at weigh-ins this weekend, Lucas Murphy from Grand Valley State University is back again, looking to place in yet another session. And this fish should achieve just that. How many smallmouth have you caught this week? Uh, we've caught like 10 of them today. Oh, a 541, that did take the lead, a 541. Go back here and get a picture made with that one. Following up his fellow teammate from Wallace Community College who weighed in a three plus pound smallmouth, Andrew Chapman has one nearly twice that size and is about to become the proud owner of a Gill FG25 insulated jacket. A seven pounder, seven, 17. New leader for the day, definitely for this session. All right, get that big fish out of there. All right, tell me how that all went down. How did he have a little old two pound small mouth and you come in with that? Well, we started off where we started off day one, um, fishing ledges and um, he caught that one when about, we, about 10 minutes when we started. And then we decided to come on back, fish more rip rap, And then we found a pocket that was about five and a half foot. I was throwing a U5 speed worm and I was gently rolling across the bottom. That's just how it took. Thought it was a log. What Andrew first thought was a log turns out to be the winning fish for session two presented by Gill. He takes first place by less than one tenth of an ounce. Following closely behind in second is Samuel Williamson from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. And in third, nearly a pound and a half out of second is Michael Denigman of Missouri State University. This session marks the first time in this event where a fish less than five pounds places inside the top 10. With two sessions in the books, tournament action on the final day is beginning to ramp up. The fish continue to bite and anglers are crossing the stage. Stay tuned for more coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom-crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. 
Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four stroke, the all new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's VTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. It's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original power bait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage-inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Reel down to the water until it's rip and drag. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US. We're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Gemini Jerseys. The leader in custom fishing apparel. And by Bob's Machine Shop. Go fast. Go shallow. Go efficient. I think it's another journal. No, it's a bass. Day two of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley has been filled with lots of fish catches, even in adverse conditions. The field of top-notch college anglers are tricking these Kentucky Lake bass into biting. Look at the fish in his mouth. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. You need to get a view of that. Yeah. Let's spin That's, that's crazy. Okay, that looked pretty good. Peyton McCord from Auburn University placed in the top 10 of session two on day one. So far today, he's struggled to find keeper bites. The changing water level is impacting the pattern that produced a prize winning fish on day one. Uh, it's, been, it's been pretty slow. Uh, we started out going slow like yesterday, just dragging baits trying to flip some trees and stuff like that. Um, the water's been really high past week, so uh, we've been trying to get a, a shallow bite going for us, but it's been real patchy because of the amount of water. It's just kind of, they're spread out, and it's hard to find them real condensed. Um, they've dropped the water about four foot, as what we can tell this morning, um, the past day or so, so it's really hurting the shallow bite, so we're trying to run around, find a few different things that uh, we maybe catch a big one on. At this point, I'd probably act like Iconelli over a three-pounder. The afternoon is proving to be tough for anglers all over the lake. A steady rain has settled in, and these anglers from Alice Lloyd College are starting to feel the rainy day blues. But it's not always about the number of fish you catch in a day. The opportunity to be a part of a club and to represent your school is what really matters. And for the anglers from a small college in Kentucky, this couldn't be more true. Our fishing team's been going on for as long as I've been at Alice Lloyd College. I'm a senior, I've been here four years. Been there four years, but uh, I only started fishing last year because I played baseball uh, my first two years. It's pretty small, right now we only have eight people in it. But we're pretty close knit and we have fun. The one o'clock deadline is fast approaching. Back in Paris, Tennessee, big bass are coming to the scales. 618, how about a 606? This one here will get up in the money. How about a 649, 649, great job. A parade of six pound bass have made their way across the stage for this session presented by Cabela's. Zach Lineberry from Troy University brings in one just larger than the rest to stake claim to the lead. How many of you caught this weekend? One, well it's a good one, a six, seven, two. Get that fish out and hold it up for everybody. Right now, if that holds up, do you know what it's worth? 
$1,000 gift card from Cabela's. Sounds good. Good for you? All right, hold that. That might be worth it. Tell me how you caught it. Uh, shallow crankbait. Shallow crankbait, like lipless? Uh, no, just a seven-foot diver. That seven-foot diving crankbait netted Zach a bass just under seven pounds, earning him a $1,000 Cabela's gift card as the winner of session three. In second, taking home a $500 Cabela's gift card is Landon Cook from Mississippi State University, weighing in with 6.49 pounds. And Adam New from the University of Wisconsin Platteville rounds out the top three with 6.32 pounds. Three of our four sessions are in the books. And after the break, we begin session four presented by Engel Coolers. Only two hours are left in tournament action. So don't miss it when we return. We've got a big line of different plastics and you know they're all a tool so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas flipping that right there. Just a six inch Big Bite Creek tail worm. Here at Big Bite we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Gill, dress like a pro. Costa Del Mar sunglasses, see what's out there. And by Hydrowave, ignite a feeding frenzy. Welcome back to final day coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley here on Kentucky Lake. Known as one of the best bass fishing lakes in the country, Kentucky Lake is an iconic body of water in which anglers jump at the opportunity to fish. I've been here several times. Um, I'm a senior, so we've been here at least twice a year, and I've come back here as a boat captain to take some high school kids out. And this lake is a great lake. Situated in Northwest Tennessee, Kentucky Lake draws people from all over into the local communities and businesses. Henry County and the city of Paris are the host site for this event. Offering a wide variety of activities to do and sights to see, this is a great area to visit. 
it's just a, a great little fishing community, rural community, retirement community. Uh, we've got a lot of good businesses here. Uh, they support the lake, they support the activities at the lake, and got a, a lot of great uh, venues on the lake with live music, especially in the summertime. Come on out and enjoy the sights and sounds of Paris, Tennessee as part of your next vacation. For more information on Henry County and the surrounding areas, visit henrycountytn.org. Back here in Paris, the stage is set as anglers weigh in for the final session of the day presented by Angle Coolers. How about a 485, 485? How about a 607? In order to take the overall lead for the event, it'll take a 9.23 pound fish to unseat Brian Paul of Bethel University. Though it appears that number won't be threatened, the competition for first place in the session is coming down to the wire. Chet Reeves from Auburn University needs to weigh in at least 7.62 pounds to win this final session. Is it gonna go over six? I hope so. What's it say? 762. 762. New beautiful fish. Hold that up. That fish edges out second place by one one hundredth of an ounce. And Chet Reeves of Auburn University wins session four. Boris Moskov of Murray State finishes in second place. And Tyler Price of Bryan College completes the top three, weighing in with 6.41 pounds. And with the conclusion of the final session, here's a look at the overall top 10 for the 2018 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley. Day one, session four winner Brian Paul takes home the grand prize, a prize package valued at $5,000. Entering this event with a sizable lead in the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, Brian has helped his team add to that lead here this weekend. Coming in this tournament, we, we were in first place, I believe, in school of the year. And we had another another top five finish, I believe, so this should should help in school of the year. We were looking for two solid top ten finishes. And they got just that, with the top two anglers from Bethel University finishing first and fifth overall. That helps extend their school of the year lead to more than 600 points over the second place school from the University of North Alabama. And with a good showing this week, Auburn jumps up five spots to finish in third. That concludes our coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. This has been a Carico TV production. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Angle coolers, go with the original. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere, a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali rods. Tournament tested and tournament tough. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24 7. Visit boatus.com.